Do you want to be in the video? No. Alright. Should I say hello, internet? I guess that's the hardest part. Whatever your intro wants to be. That's my say, intro. Can I say hello, internet, too? Sure. That's what cool people say. Pretty cool. Alright, ready? Hey, what are you doing? BetterHelp is really committed to facilitating it? great therapeutic oh, matches. So they make it easy and free to change count. I'm planting lettuce. Okay. What are you doing? Making a spreadsheet that shows what we're planting where. So organized. All thanks to you. bunnies are going to come and eat all of our lettuce? Not with our sweet fence. How about the mosquitoes? Are they okay. going to eat us? Oh, there's some mosquitoes? <laughs> no way. Shocking. Yeah. Go. Hello, internet. I thought I would give you all a tour of our garden. We just started this this year. So we've been here two years. We finally have a garden. Our garden's about, what is it, Mike, 20 by 30? Yep. Which is 100 square feet. We have planted a ton, but not all of it came up. Well, as I walk you through, I'll tell you what, what happened. But first... It's actually 600 square feet. You said 100. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. So it's the perimeter is 100. <laughs> but first... These guys have done amazing. I'm going to come out today and pick up my third round. And I bet we'll get a couple more rounds here. And these are much taller than you. I know. Look how, that, look how cool that is. So fun. And we haven't picked... Yeah, in a few days and the, the beans are huge. Alright. So we built this big tall fence to keep out the deer and then also we put down underneath this black gardening material we put down chicken wire just in case there's a lot of rabbits so we wanted to make sure the rabbits couldn't dig, dig in and eat all the food so far and so far it's working maybe nobody's interested but at least nobody's in so right in front here is zucchini of course if you all know anything about zucchini, you know it grows like bonkers. And our zucchini is growing like crazy. There's, I mean, there's a bunch of really big ones we need to pick. We've been gone a few days and they've gotten huge. There's one really big one that I'm letting grow so that I can collect the seeds. All right, careful as you walk in. We have a little cucumber and we had one really yummy cucumber off of it. If we probably had another six weeks of growing season, maybe even longer, we'd have <laughs> a lot of cucumbers. I'm just worried that we're going to get a frost. So maybe cucumbers are not our... But the one was delicious. The one was delicious. And we have another, there's another one. Lots of flowers, but I don't think we have time. I have some herbs growing in plants. They're doing well. So we had planted, Mike and I planted so much and then nothing came up. So we got the oil, or the oil tested, <laughs> the dirt tested. Turns out we need a lot of more nitrogen in our soil. So I just decided to plant a whole lot of beans because beans fix nitrogen to the soil and then we'll use that as a cover crop and it will um so in the winter we'll just let it let it add some compost some what's the word I'm looking for mulch mulch to the dirt so here we have beans if you walk through carefully oh my gosh 
Mike just tipped over the basil. Whoops. Sorry. Basil. This, on one side, is a pumpkin plant, and I think that this is a butternut squash, but when Maya looked at it, she said they're not butternut squash. So I don't know what they are. They were, seeds were given to me by a coworker. And I'm a little worried that these won't have time to get to their full maturity. We'll see. The plant is huge. We planted a ton of radish because radish girl like bonkers. It's very satisfying. I'm letting these ones go to seed so we can collect the seeds. And I just learned The little seed pods of the radishes are super edible and so we're gonna be putting those in our salads too because we have plenty we managed to get some swiss chard growing i love swiss chard we'll do, definitely do that again what's up with this super tall swiss chard oh this is swiss chard that's going to seed we're gonna let it go to seed so we can have seeds for next year over here, I just cleared out a whole bunch of radishes and peas. Oh, don't overlook the giant corn. Oh, I don't know idea yeah, where the corn three, came from. Three corn plants. <laughs> I don't know where they came from. I'm letting them do their thing. Clearly, they're not going to make corn. I planted some more beans. Once again, this will add nitrogen to the soil. What happened to the tomatoes? <laughs> I didn't show the tomatoes. <laughs> the cage collapsed? <laughs> I decided to go ahead and try and plant some more greens and so I threw them in with some beans and they're doing okay. We have just a mixture of lettuces and arugula and kale. I mean clearly look at that, it's a little rough. But these lettuces seem to be doing well. We'll figure it out. Um, Mike just pointed out that the tomato cage has collapsed. Oh my gosh, but look at how many tomatoes so are on many that tomatoes. plant. So many tomatoes. Should we try to stand it back up? I've tried a few times. Oh. It just, it's way too small. Holy cow, look at how, what should we do? Anything? Oh yeah. You have any solutions for our collapsed tomato cage? This Let one that know. we made is holding up. Yeah, that one's doing well. We should probably make another one. Yep. But hopefully these will ripen. What do you think? As long as it's hot. And we don't have any hot, many hot days left here. I'm going to take that one. And then we also, oh, some more, I planted some more beans. We planted some raspberries over here. And my goal is to train them to be on the outside of the fence. But I wanted them to um, be in here to get some love. Get started. Like yeah. We just got these from a co worker. So many generous people giving us plants and seeds. I think that's it. That's it in a nutshell. We're figuring it out. So right, what, Mike? Yeah, I'm impressed with We our were not first successful effort. with carrots or onions. Although I see. Oh, there's a carrot. Right there's there. one tiny carrot plant okay, <laughs> that came carrot. up. We'll arm wrestle you for it. All right. I think that's it. Anything else? Final thoughts? Final thoughts. But the season's short here. We'll figure it out. 100, 125 days. Yep. But we're getting there. Hopefully, we'll get more greens. What would you like to see next year, Mike? Um. Carrots. That was what I was really looking forward to. Yeah. Um, maybe next year we'll be able to amend the soil. We didn't really do that much this time. Um, I don't know. We eat out of here almost every day, right? Or yeah. Half for the last few weeks, anyway. So. And we froze a little bit. Maya gave us a ton of seeds, so we don't really have a lot of money in, in that part. We bought the tomato plants from Farmer Doug down the street. So, yeah, I don't know. I think it's great. Yeah, it's a work in progress. Get us both in. Hopefully.
way. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for watching. from our garden. Oh look, there's even a carrot. One teeny tiny carrot. Is that action? Say it. All right, hello internet. Wait, we forgot to say action. I slipped my hand. <laughs> That's it, okay. <laughs> we are just gonna summarize our thoughts about the garden this year. Do a little quick tour. But, um, yeah, I have some thoughts. Do you have thoughts on the garden? I'd say my thoughts are a huge success on the garden. Well, my thoughts are medium success on the garden. <laughs> so we, have grew, we have different thoughts. What grew, grew, and what didn't, didn't. So, yes. what, what grew really well, and I wrote some notes our zucchini, but zucchini pretty much grows well anywhere. Mm -hmm. Radishes, another fail-safe plant, but we learned you can eat the radish pods, so that is exciting. Radish pods? The pods, the yeah, thing that this, yeah, they're very tasty. Mm -hmm. um, green beans went bonkers, and I also Definitely. planted pinto beans as a cover crop, which I'm still learning how to do a cover crop. Maybe we'll put some notes on the screen. About cover crops. See the notes here, or it's maybe up here. Yeah. Maybe it's scrolling over here. Or something. Yeah, something. Um, but also, pinto beans, you can let them grow out until they have the actual beans in them, or you can eat them when they're green, which was an exciting thing to learn. Mm -hmm. um, we have a ton of pumpkins out there, some pie pumpkins. Swiss chard is looking amazing. We grew peas. Um, our thyme and rosemary producing very nicely. The things that are doing okay are tomatoes. We have so many tomatoes. They're just Tons. very slow to ripen. So we need to... We had so many tomatoes on one plant that it collapsed the tomato cage. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> it <laughs> looks like Job of the Hut, like this <laughs> big pile of cherry tomatoes. Yeah. Cucumbers did okay. Um, we, the cucumbers that are, come off of it are delicious. They're just not very many. So I think both with the tomatoes and the cucumber and then also basil, they need to be warmer. So we're going to, um, tune in next year. Yeah. We'll try and solve that problem. The butternut squash seems to be doing okay. It might actually pull out. I was worried it wasn't going to produce any or anything fast enough, but we'll see. Um, and then just greens did okay, but I think upon reflection, hmm. we just, we tried to plant them as starts and that did not work. Yeah. Pro partly because we don't, didn't really know how to do starts, plant That's starts. True. We well, didn't harden them. Right, yeah. It's all about the transplanting from the indoors to the yeah, outdoors. Yeah, we just threw them out there. Yeah. <laughs> and said, good luck. Good thing we didn't do that with our children. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they would say different. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the the greens that we have, the lettuce and arugula and stuff, is doing well now. Mm -hmm. And then for next year, what what do you want to grow next year? Next year, carrots for carrots. sure. Carrots. We, we tried one, so we hard had one on carrots. Carrot, and it was like this long. Yeah, I think the soil needs to be amended, and it needs to be much softer. It's pretty kind of clay soil. Yeah. Not full on clay, but. Dense. We have a plan to uh, amend the soil. Yes. Mm -hmm. Get some horse manure. Mm -hmm. um, I just planted some garlic, which I bought from the farmer's market mm -hmm. from a guy who grew them locally. So there's a little, yes. hopefully, we'll let you know how that works. But yeah. it seems like if he grew them here, yeah, they're they should, nice. That's nice garlic. Yeah, that they should be able to grow well. And he gave us some thoughts. So. And then onions, we had a ton of onions, green and regular onions, and we did, couldn't get any of those mm -hmm. to grow, so we're going to work on that. Which seems strange. I mean, onions seems like it should be easy to grow, right? I think it's the same as the carrot. The soil needs to be amended for sure, but also it's too dense for them to grow. 
I want to grow sweet potatoes mm, that'd and, be nice. and some potatoes because nothing is better. Not a huge <laughs> amount of potatoes, but just some potatoes to have fresh out of the garden. Yeah, sweet so potatoes. Good. Sweet potatoes would be good. Delicious. Yeah. What else next year? I think that's it. We're going to make the garden a little bigger. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, we also have raspberries growing yeah. along the fence, so we'll see if they produce anything. Yeah, they seem to be taking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'd say we're nailing it, yeah. considering we live so far north, and yeah. this is our first garden. Currently, we eat almost entirely all of our vegetables from the garden at the moment. I've been able to freeze a lot. Yeah, we well, harvest so. every day, something. Yeah. Oftentimes, it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll see. Stay tuned for yeah. next year. <laughs>